Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be simulating an NPN switch circuit using Tinkercad. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Let us start the circuit design using Tinkercad. So sign in using your Gmail account on this Tinkercad platform and now you can see this particular window and click on circuits. Now we have to click on create new circuit and you get this particular window. Now let us save this particular circuit as NPN transistor analysis and save this. Now, we require a breadboard for this particular circuit simulation. So, you can see a virtual breadboard. So, place this particular virtual breadboard on this particular window. Now, we have to place an NPN transistor. So, search for NPN transistor and place the NPN transistor as shown in this particular tutorial. Next, you can see this particular design which has been simulated in one of the open source tool called as CAD. So, we require a resistor for this particular circuit design. So, place the resistor in order to rotate. Click on R button on the keyboard. Now, the value of the resistance is around 150 ohm and we have to place the second resistor so rotate using the keyboard R and the name of the resistor will be R2 and the name of the previous resistor will be R1 now the value of second resistor will be 1 kilo ohm Now search for the supply or the power supply source which would power the NPN transistor. So place this particular power supply source on this particular design window and uh, let us consider the voltage as 5 volt and the current as 5 amperes. So now connect from the positive end to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative terminal of the power supply to the negative rail of the breadboard. Base of transistor is connected to one end of the terminal of second resistor and the emitter of the transistor will be connected to the negative end of the power supply. Now we must place a function generator. So type function generator and place this particular function generator on the design window. Now the frequency will be 1 kilohertz, the amplitude will be 2 volts and the DC offset as 0 and the form of a wave will be square. Next we have to also place an oscilloscope on the input and across the output. So time per division for this will be 0 0.5 milliseconds and also place the oscilloscope across the function generator and the time per division for this would be 1 millisecond. Now
connect the negative end of the oscilloscope to the negative rail of the breadboard or to the negative terminal of the function generator and the positive end of the oscilloscope is connected to the positive end of the function generator now the terminal 1 of resistor 2 is connected to the positive end of the function generator which would be the input signal and the negative terminal of second oscilloscope is connected to the negative rail on the breadboard and the positive terminal of the second oscilloscope is connected to the terminal 2 of resistor or across the collector of NPN transistor. Now we have completed this particular circuit design. Now the negative terminal of the function generator must be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now let us run this particular simulation. You can see the waveform across the function generator and the waveform across the output of the transistor across the collector. Now we have done the similar circuit using the SPICE simulator. Now let us run this particular circuit simulation. Now you can see when we run this particular simulation and click on probe and place the probe across this particular SPICE simulated result, you can see the input and the output waveform Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.